or taken away from a pattern. It's usually on the side seams. So you don't really uh, adjust anything okay. else. Stick to the simple side seams. But what you need to bear in mind is that if you need to add two centimeters into the whole of the garment, if mm. it's a little bit tight, then you don't add two centimeters on every pattern piece because then suddenly you've added mm. absolutely loads. Four seams and eight yeah. centimeters. But it's all explained. You, it's right. all okay. in here. So it's really no, this is making sense. So we've done the measuring, simple. and now we're talking about altering. So if you're between, say, the five and the six, and you need to add a little bit in, then you can actually do the pattern first, or you just make up the sample, and then it talks right. you through adjusting the sample anyway. So it's whichever way you'd rather do it. Um, big announcement: we have managed. We've, we've had a word with Search Press. Well, we, Hannah, we've mm. got two hundred more. So. For those of you who've missed out, don't worry, we've managed to get 200 more, 1999, right? 200 more of these, because we've sold out completely of all the others, so do, do get them um, checked out. Good morning, I'm confused. Mm. Is the prim dress making paper only available individually now? Or if I buy through, will I get them free from Wendy? No, Wendy, the bundle that I did earlier sold out. It was a special deal that we only had a few and we'd put a few into the bundle, so now you can only buy it individually. But you get 10 metres. You, know, you get 10 metres, but that was an going. original um, deal that we did at 8 o'clock. Eight o'clock. It's a problem because it just sells out, but we do have them individually. This is great. Right, so um, what do you want? What would be the best thing to show next? The tracing? If I show a little bit tracing off, okay. if I trace a bodice pattern off, because it's quite small, right, okay. I'm going to pick any size. You've also got in there, you've got... Um, if you have got a slightly curved back, so if you need to add into the back, for example. Oh, okay. There's also a full bust alteration, but if you are making it to fit your bust, you shouldn't have to then do an alteration on the bust. Oh, yeah, because I That's guess the, the idea. full bust adjustment is I'm gonna find a because nice you're piece. adjusting a pattern that you've bought. Yes. But because you're redrawing the pattern to fit you, you don't need to do the no. adjustment. It's in there, so it's a useful thing to see and to learn. Just gonna try and find, there we are. We'll use this one, because this is quite small, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna trace this off in the size, which one's, maybe in the size four. Okay. okay? We'll trace this one off. So I'll show you what Oh, and so, so this is up to the size nine, so there'll be another one. Yes, yeah, so there's another set. So you've got one to yeah. nine in one so set. This this covers everything. It's yeah. not like you need one, because sometimes you get patterns where you no, buy one everything. set. You just don't cut this out because you might need to go back to it. So you're always tracing off what you need and start again. Well, it'd be really sad to cut it out, wouldn't don't, it? Just do not cut it. Because you might have cut to buy another, You'd have to get another book yes. to get the patterns. These are not available yeah. on their own. No. <laughs> so what you, you would need... you've got to buy another book. I don't know if they are. They might be available to buy if you desperately do do it. I mm. think... I don't know if Search Press do a separate pattern. Okay. I don't know. But you went out to use You need the book. Don't so trace them off. Yeah. So what you've got is you've got a front bodice, a back bodice, mm. a front skirt, a back skirt. Okay. And then you've got a sleeve, but we don't need the sleeve for a minute. And this is what every dressmaker does. So as a dressmaker and designer, if you come to me saying, I want a bespoke wedding mm. dress, I will start here. So this is why the book is good, whether you are a home sewer or you could be a starting out designer, or actually you could be an established designer that needs a whole lot of sets of blocks. Yes, yeah, so that's it true. covers so everybody really. Sorts. Or if you just think, well actually, you know, I'm, I want to start dressmaking, but I want to do it properly. Absolutely. I don't want to go through the years of wasted fabric like, no, like no. me. So what I would do is I would, when you place your paper over the top, I would pin it down so it anchors it in place. These are my patterns, so they're not someone's book, I promise. <laughs> yeah. um, so just make sure it's held in place because you don't want to start drawing in your paper to be moving around. And then what I do is every little point, I'm just going to mark on the top with... Well, I guess you could use... A, this is where you could use the ruler for the yeah, straight edges. Yeah, I'm going to join in with the ruler. I'm going to mark these first, so every corner point, so I know what I'm tracing off. So, and what I'm also going to do, I'm going to cut... Done. I didn't know piece of paper. I'm going to cut... So leave a little bit of room around your pattern mm. pieces as well. I like the fact this is so wide as well, so it really does yeah. cover it, doesn't it? Okay, so you've got room to actually manoeuvre here now anyway. So if you need to lift this up and check, that's why you just cut it with a couple of inches right, around. Okay. So then I'm going to find... Curve rule the is now one. sold out. Not surprised, it's marvellous. It's like another glove. That's going to come into its own now anyway. So then what I tend to do, once I've marked those key points, I know what I'm joining and I've got the right size, I will then mark the darts in place. So I'm going to follow down here. 
So this is what's talked through the book as well. So it's all there for your details and it will all start to come together on here. Now obviously I know what I'm looking for, but again, if you're unsure, don't be afraid to lift up and just check which size is which. So if I can grab the ruler, please, yeah. that's okay. That's gonna mark again down here with a size four. So then this is where this comes in now, okay? So we're gonna join up all so the bits we need. Are they, what are these then? Those are darts. Oh, so you've okay. got on the front, you've got a t two darts there. There's also, when oh, you yeah. sew your darts, you've got a nice, you, you can sew them separately. So you can sew a dart to the bust point and then one below to the waist. But there's a cheap method, which doesn't mean you're gonna do anything else, but you can actually sew it all in one go, which is what I've done on right. my own dress. I don't have that annoying stop and start of a, of a dart. Yes, I see so what that's, you mean. Again, a cheap thing. So what we're doing now, each point where I've drawn, you can mark where the base of your dart is. And don't worry if you're new to it and you don't understand what this all means yet, because the book explains everything in detail and lots and lots of pictures. So don't feel yeah, that, so you know, this in, is too advanced for you. Don't worry about it. And I'm hoping to do lots of content um, over these next kind of few months, a year, really, of things from the book and videos. So if anyone needs help, you can kind of watch and, and get in touch if you're stuck. And if you're local and it does, to Wales, really does go through it. You know, there's pictures of the actual yeah. tracing. So what you're tracing Everything. and why. So I'm now going to draw in the centre line. Don't assume any line is straight. <laughs> but I know the centre front is, so I'm going to go down there. Now, you've also got markings which show that that is a centre front line and it's also cut on the fold. But this is now, hopefully you can see what I'm going to do up here. This is the neckline and I'm just going to follow with a run of... Oh, okay. Just a little dashes. And then we can join these once we take this off then. Okay, because I have, silly, I've gone on to black. How did you draw these patterns? Well, you worked with a company that grades patterns. So again, this is, this is if you want to add on to a garment, you don't just add a centimetre. No, that's around. what I My mean. mum would, mm. sorry mum, but my, <coughs> mum, my mum would go, oh, just add a bit round. I was like, no, no. Mum, you can't improvise, you can't. And she always laughs, so uh, she'll tell me off now because I've, I've told her off for it, but she, my mum's amazing. She mm. taught me everything, you know, she's brilliant. She inspired me to sew, but my mum is an improviser. Right, okay. But I'm not. <laughs> yeah. so, that's why so I mean, this is so like, accurate. These are patterns that are all graded, so you can't just add no. a centimetre round. You have to go with the it's rules It's quite a of fine pattern. art pattern grading isn't it, it? Is. so we're going to draw this in um, and again I'm going to trace off the shapes if you can't see what you're tracing don't be afraid to lift the paper to check but this is brilliant paper because you can yeah see well it's it thin really enough well. and thick enough at the same time yeah. isn't it yeah what I use is a little bit thicker back home but this is this is really really good well it's not tissue no so again I'm just going to I'm quite quick doing this because I do lots of little dashes. I'm used to doing it. There's nice tips in here. Like if you use a wheelchair, like my pattern tester, Rianne, you'll need to shorten the front bodice blocks and lengthen the back bodice blocks to allow for more comfortable fit. Yeah. Brilliant. Really key. So there's also notches. I'm a massive notcher. If any of you have watched me demonstrating dressmaking on mm. here, I love, love notches. <laughs> so you need to make sure they're key. <laughs> love a notch. Because they, they just help you match your whole piece together. Okay, so you just make sure you've got all your bits on. Again, this is all in detail mm. on here, and you can cross-reference the book to check you've got everything on. So I've just got two notches on the armhole, the dart, I'm gonna take this off the paper in a sec as well now. Um, your darts, your center front. So just to see what we've done, I can actually, I haven't marked that bit in there. Okay, so you should have traced that off. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like. I've also just drawn along where the bust line is. So it's quite handy for you to actually see. Now, I don't know if you'll lose it under there. So what I might do is put some of the paper, another bit of this underneath. So it will yeah, just so we can see it. A little bit. There we go. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better. Fingers crossed. So you can do this when it's on top of the pattern, but I just want you to be able to see what we've got. So when you're matching, you kind of match all your bits up and you've marked everything on, this is when this comes into play. So then you can use the straight bit. This isn't a straight line, but I will follow the dots and just... Oh, just around. to sort of join up all the dotty bits. Yeah, so that's what you're doing. So do all the straight bits first. So this bit, if I'm not in shot, just tell me. There and you are, that's good. So round here, so this is where you just have to find the best part of the curve. The matches here. 
So you can then use oh, this. Oh, I see. So and you can just move the curve around. And just around. move it. So it's not going to be exactly the same. So don't don't worry about that just yet. You can flip it over as well. And yeah, but that's much easier than trying to yeah, draw a curve. That in. So I'm just going to do it quickly for a sec here. And this is exactly what I would do oh, at okay. home again. So you are just moving it round to find the best line. So that helps you do that. And then we'll come up. Same thing over here. And the key to dressmaking is being accurate. So from the beginning, what you don't want to do is, is be slapdash. You do yeah, have get, to be Well, also, very this you're going to use to make hundreds of dresses going yeah. forward. So take the time to just get this right in the beginning. I know I'm doing it quite quickly. There's no seam allowance on here, because until you've altered these, so say mm. you need to add in length or you want to make, if the waist needs to be extended, if it needs to be between sizes, you can add a bit. This right. is where you do it on your side seam. Um, but at least then once you've done all your pattern and your alterations, this is when you add on your centimetre. Oh, now, or whatever this you see one, can you I'm add? not sure, if I think that is a centimetre there. I think that's But can you add on like a five eighths if you want that seam allowance? Yes, as long as then you make sure that everything's everything. got the five eighths on. Right, so if you wanted to use yeah. an imperial seam allowance. Yeah, I think this one is, because I'm not used to this person, I think that is the 1.5, but I'm just going to say. But the book explains all of that, don't yeah. worry. No, I'm actually going to do what I think is a centimetre here, which is the three squares, but you need to check. So say you've done your pattern, you need to add your seam allowance. This is where the rulers come into play. Uh, okay. Because then you can add. It's a really quick way of adding them on, but you need mm. to be accurate. So you need to just check these measurements. Yeah, and if not, just use a tape measure. Yeah, and this is where, see on here, that is slightly wide measurement to here, because this is just for, you know, the curve. So oh, we've if got a lovely you, message from Sarah. I've tried making my own clothes, but got discouraged when the garment didn't fit. Mm, know exactly how it yeah. feels, Sarah. This book has encouraged me to try again. I know it does. When you Yay, when you so. go through it and you read it, you think, okay, yeah, th this actually is making sense. It is simple. Simple, simple, hopefully. It's just gone back to basics, and it doesn't assume that you know anything. So if you're adding a centimetre, then you just need to do lots okay. of little bits like this. So you could use a ruler or a tape measure to just... You can use anything, just, yeah. And, and whatever your seam allowance, yeah. or if you want so a you, different one, if you're an imperial sewer. Yeah. So if you find it easier, sometimes it's probably a little bit more accurate to use that centimetre on the tape measure. So that's a little bit more there. And then use the, the curve to join to the draw, dashes. Oh, okay. okay. So this is where this then comes back into play then because then you can start to match, oh, yeah, join the dots okay. and that Perfect. gives you the shape. So that's your kind of initial Brilliant. how to create your pattern and the little markings on here, it's all explained because there's, there's so much I obviously can't cover it. No, yet. no, but it's all in the book Session, you don't but need to. This is what you're going to start doing anyway. Um, hi, from this from Christine, what fabric do I need to make a practice piece? Well, Christine, funny you should say that. Calico. Calico. Go with calico. So, yes, I mean, you obviously, Helen hasn't got time, cannot show you the whole thing, but that's really good. So, yes. now we've made our pattern piece. Yes. Do not skip the 12 step. No, no. The <laughs> whole book, I mean, it's on the front cover. Yes. So, you know, you have to do that process So, what first. is a toile? So, a toile is a sample garment. It's a French word, you know, for a sample garment. Mm. And what that is, is you make it up in something like a calico, because calico is is a good kind of weight fabric to use. You can get different weight calico. So if you're going to go for, say, a heavy denim dress, sample up in a heavy okay. denim. I mean, this is this is quilting that's great. weight. Yeah, so how that's much, what I would use. Now, this is half a metre. So how much would you say they need to buy? I would stock up and get a couple of metres because right. when you make up your first one, then if you want to sample, oh, I'll try a sleeve. Because you actually pattern cut throughout the book and it says right, if you want to make okay. a sleeve, there isn't a pattern for sleeve at the end. So what you would need to do, it shows you how to sew it together, what order, absolutely everything is covered in it, how to alter the sample once it's made up. So um, this, I mean, because this is kind of quilting weight cotton, the dresses that Helen and I are wearing are both in quilting weight cotton, so this yeah. is really good. So two, get yourself two metres. So at least two metres to make your sample. Four units, put that yes. in your basket. I mean, and look at the price of it, it's 279. Yeah. So it's a really good price because yeah. 
it's you're not then using your expensive designer no. fabric you can go wrong no exactly so things like if you're going to do a butterfly sleeve you know you can it shows you how to do it really full or maybe a little bit so it might be that you mock it up amazing. try it in a sample fabric oh, in so, calico. Like, so this sleeve so kind of like um, we've done here this gathered sleeve, the puff sleeve. So it shows you how to trace off your sleeve pattern oh. to add your width into Ooh. your pattern. So this is called slash and spread. So you could make it even wider. You can make it really wide. So you've got the freedom to go wild with oh, the book. This wow. is the beauty of it. So you will need your pattern paper because you'll trace off the size sleeve yes. that works with your And then I'd go even wider. Yeah, and, and you can make it wider at the bottom, mm. wider at the top, have a more gather at the top, more gather at the bottom. But by having this pattern paper, I would then sample it. In that. Only one sleeve, you only need to maybe cut A one out. Point. Sample your sleeve, try it on, because I, and I'm totally honest with this as well. The, the whole process of this book was not, I want to make that dress. I didn't make it once. The mm. first one didn't look like that. Right. Because I was, you know, I'm thinking, oh, how wide do I want the sleeve to be? So I made a few samples. Oh, well, that's too wide. I'll reduce it down. I do tell you what measurements I use to create the samples. Oh, okay. So at least you've got an idea of well, what yeah, it looks like. Well, yeah, because I would and look at that and go, go okay, so it's that. Well, I'm going to have mine a bit wider or yeah, whatever. Yeah, so then you can say, well, I'll spread I mean, this mine is a like, more. well, I'm not surprised it took four years, to be honest. I mean, this it's is taking a long time. A yeah. lot a long of work. Time. And you're getting it for 19.99. Amazing. This will be your Bible going forward. Yeah. And once you get your head around this, you can run so far with it as well. So those of you who mm. are maybe expert dressmakers, this will still give you the grounding. I think it's nice, so so even if you've done dressmaking, I, I, go back to the beginning. Yeah, and you've got your blocks. Get a block that fits you. Mm. And then if you love a different pattern somewhere else, then Should you we can- have a, Before we in. finish, we have yeah. a quick look. Have we got pictures of some of the dresses? Yes. So this is like, so that's a fitted. So this is where, Oh, someone's asking about trousers. No, someone did say about trousers mm. before. That's a whole other book. Yeah, that's, that's no, book that's number a two. different book. Could you start yeah. that one, they've said? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, four years' time. That might take six. <laughs> I don't know. Leave um, it with me. Dorothy says, I'd buy at least 10 metres. I use it for all sorts. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Good point. I mean, it is only 279 for half a metre. Yeah. So this is where the the um, the hip measurement really comes yeah. in, isn't it? And that's, you haven't actually got a waist seam there. So you can either make it as a skirt. Oh, so it's not just a dress, it can no. be a skirt. So what you can do is if you imagine you've got options to do four sleeves, four necklines, four skirts. So those dresses, mm. so the ones on the stands are all in the same fabric with a waistline. Whereas this oh. denim one hasn't got a waistline. So that's all in one dress, but those can be separated then into a top and well, a skirt. Well, this is, it could be a blouse. Yep. So you could, with oh. that top part, there's also a pattern for a top in here. So oh, if oh. I show you so. Oh yes, you know, that. I'm looking I'm right. you, you know where everything actually so lives. So for example, oh, you've got, once you know how to do the pleated A-line skirt, you can do a simple top, which are right. all the same patterns, no zip, just literally put the top on. Oh, I see. Um, you've got the dress, which is on the stand there. So you can really mix and match once you've got everything going. If I go back. So throughout the book, which is that something I really wanted, was really beautiful, oh, glossy I images. See. And then you see, you can really see that's your circle skirt. Circle skirt, sweetheart but neckline. And it says what in the dress, what that is. So if you I want to make that, see. then the information's there for you. That says, well, that's your gathered skirt. You can do a waistband yeah. on the skirt. Yeah. So you can split it up or you can, so then that is, that's, you know, combination the same yeah, kind of top but mean. a different neckline different skirt and the great thing about making it yourself is you don't have to make it all from the same fabric so no. if you've got a really bright i always think if you've got a beautiful fabric that you think is just too much for a whole yeah. dress make the bodice yeah. in plain yeah and then you can make the skirt in that well, it's that one of my favorite ones in here so that's a skirt and just a nice loose top obviously you can really go wild with the top where were the photos taken uh in beautiful swansea where in Lang on swansea langland Seafront. bay and langland and, oh, okay. um, and mumbles pier Oh, so I just love that I've got swans in here as yeah, well. Yeah, because it's you know, pier is beautiful. Love. So you've got your circle skirt oh, that's and your top. Gorgeous. So that's I might put that on for the second show. I've got a dress in that fabric, which I will only wear for forty the books one. remaining. If it's in your basket, it's not yours until you check out, and that's our second lot. We have forty left. That's checked out. So I'm if it's excited. in your basket, it's not yours until you check out. We're launching the book today and we managed to get the other 200. It's exclusive to us. We have 40 left. So that's the only books that are going to be left for the next two weeks. They'll be gone. Go, go, go. They'll go. 
Go, go, go. This and then if brilliant. anyone needs any help, just, just let me know. Just get in touch. So should we, sh let's just show the, because we, sure. this is not, actually I'll move over here and show 